Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and visit the storefront as a guest. So I'm uh, logged in, or I'm not logged in right now. I'm in a new window. It's an incognito window. Haven't logged in yet. And from here, I'm just going to kind of take a look around the storefront. So what I'm looking at right now is just web content. Uh, this is a widget page. It has, I think, three web content display portlets or widgets on the page. Um, if you are lucky enough to be building out a demo for an auto parts distributor, then you know this might be exactly what you want. Uh, but if not, you may want to go in and update the images. Um, and it's, it's pretty easy to just go into the web content, swap out images to something that's a little more meaningful. Uh, these links all just point to the catalog page. Uh, so you could swap those links out and, and make them something a little bit more meaningful if you wanted to. Uh, now from this home page, because I am not logged in, um, I have the option I can search, I can log in, sign in, um, and I can also check my cart if I have anything in it. I don't have anything in it right now. Um, I'm going to go to the catalog. And from the catalog, I'll just add a couple of items to my cart. So got three items in the cart. And from here, I can go ahead and review my order. Now, when we talk about guest checkout, uh, I mentioned it a little bit earlier. Guest checkout really is referring to a guest uh, putting items in their cart and then going all the way through that checkout process without logging into the portal and without creating an account. We've always supported the ability for a guest to add items to the cart, but previously, before they could complete the checkout, they would have to create an account. So now, with guest checkout, if I have it turned on, I can not only add items to the cart, but I can continue through that checkout process. And then once I've finished the checkout process, um, I, I can create an account at that point if I want to. Now, if I'm not doing guest checkout, um, it will keep track of what's in the cart. So if I wasn't in an incognito window, if I were to browse the site today, come back in the same browser tomorrow um, and put items in the cart, it'll remember that those items are in the cart. If I am putting items into the cart and then I log in, it'll automatically transfer that cart for me so I don't lose the items that are in my cart when I log in. Um, and then even when I check out, if I go all the way through as a guest and check out, as soon as I finish that process, if I create an account, it will associate that order with that newly created account. Uh, so those are some nice features. Those are you know, definitely some B2C type features that customers would expect. And so those are all things that you can kind of build into your demo. Uh, if you're doing that, just be careful with incognito windows because if you close an incognito window, those cookies are are going to be gone, so you really can't showcase that feature um, using an incognito window. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just walk through this checkout process as a guest. Um, so from here, I'm just going to log in, or not log in, I'm sorry, I'm just going to fill out the form. And the checkout really is the same um, as what we've seen in the B2B. Okay, and I can use the same uh, address for billing and shipping. Um, and the notifications work the same way. I, I do have to put an email address in here. And so if I have notification templates, it will send me notifications for order processing and shipments and all of that information. And shipping options, I'm just using the defaults here. Uh, order summary. Okay, so the order has been processed. Now there's a link here to go to the order details. Um, if I am logged in, It'll take me to the order details, just like we would expect. If I am not logged in, um, when I go to order details, it's going to give me the option to log in or to create an account. Now, I, have, I don't have an account. Um, if I were to log in, it would associate this order with that account. So if I logged in right now using that test user, that order would show up in my order history. Um, if I log in or if I, if I create a new account, that order will be transferred and, and belong to that new account. If I don't do either of those things, if I just walk away from this page and then I try to come back and look at the order details later, it's not going to let me do that. Uh, so that is one limitation that, that you have with, uh, with Life Rate Commerce compared to maybe some other platforms that are geared more towards B2C. There is no way to use an order ID and then come back and review order history or shipment status or any of that unless you have an account. Now, that could definitely be built. It could be built as a customization. You can use all of the public APIs and extension points. It wouldn't be difficult. Um, but it is something that you wouldn't have out of the box. So just to kind of show you what that looks like, uh, I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'll create an account. So this was my Joe Blogs. And 
always with the text verification. Let's see. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And it wants me to change my password. And again, these are all just standard Liferay um, uh, properties you can change if, if you don't want to have this experience. So now I'm signed in. I'm here at the order details. And now I can go into my account and I can see that order history. So these are the items that I just added. Um, so that was guest checkout. I did authenticate uh, or I did create an account. Uh, but that was after the checkout was over and that's an optional step. So if I didn't want to do that, I didn't have to. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.